My name is Horder Runarsson from uh, Iceland. I represent a company called Glass River and uh, we are a production house um, based in Reykjavik, Iceland, doing predominantly TV drama, uh, but we also do feature films and actually uh, animation as well, or in partnerships with others. Creative power is usually freelance, so residing in the market, working with different producers and then uh, commissioning with different uh, commissioner or channels. Uh, the dynamic is it's a very close market, uh, everyone knows each other, um, you know, and the broadcasters know each other and, and that's quite a, a fine line between you know, what, what they do. We, uh, partnerships we look at uh, worldwide, it's, it's, uh, we, we're in contact and dialogue with people in Northern America, you know, mainland Europe and then actually less in Scandinavia to be honest, it's more English speaking, uh, you know, UK, maybe and down to Germany, Spain or, and France rather than Scandinavia. Although I would lo love to do more actually with the Scandinavians, but uh, I think we're all doing similar things and we need maybe a, external powers to, to help us uh, rather than more out of, out, out of the Scandinavian territory. Sometimes you have projects that are so Icelandic that they will travel and then sometimes you have projects that are kind of have this already, you know, an international appeal. For example, we do have projects that, that you know, go outside Iceland in terms of where they take place and things like that. So they are, are natural in co-producing and, and working with you know, other territories. In Iceland, we have uh, a 25% tax rebate. So that's on all expenses in, from Iceland. So anyone can make use of that if they work with uh, uh, an Icelandic producer. Uh, apart from that, you have you know, soft funding from the, the Icelandic Film Fund, which has, which uh, you have to be Icelandic to be able to apply for that. And then you might also, of course, try to pre-sell to some of the broadcasters as well. So there, it would be a three-tier, you know, point that you could, you know, gather some money out of Iceland to for co-productions. But the uh, the tax incentive is is kind of uh, the most open and 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 uh, the one that people really go to as as. It's a long process to get into the Icelandic Film Fund. We are reaching out to the world in terms of co-production and, and, uh, and working with different talents around the globe. I think uh, Eastern Europe is quite exciting at the moment. I think that's going to be growing a, a great deal. Um, we have something going on there uh, today. I think that's kind of maybe what I see first and foremost today as a, as a big growing area for, for us to, to work with. Uh, they also share a lot of challenges um, in their markets so like we do so it, uh, like in terms of uh, budgets and, and, and financing there isn't you know too much that can come out of these countries but that, I think that's growing uh, as, as the economy is growing in, in Eastern Europe and a lot of creative telling uh, good storytellers a little bit like Icelanders, uh, we're all storytellers. Everyone wants to write a book. Everyone can write a book, and, or has. You know, like, uh, so I think that's, that's kind of the next, next level partnerships that we, we, that we see.